in this video i will show you another example of nodal analysis in this circuit we have to calculate the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor using nodal analysis method so at first we have to determine how many nodes here see this will indicate a node this will be another node and this ground terminal will be another node which will be our reference node see this is our reference node and this reference node has a voltage of node voltage vo equal to 0 volt now with respect to this reference node you will see if i call this terminal as our node 1 and this terminal as node 2 this node 1 and this node 2 will indicate the independent nodes after that i will assign node voltages to this node and this node v1 and v2 after that i will apply kcl to each of the independent nodes so let's say i will apply kcl at node number one we have to assume all the unknown currents are outgoing see at node number one we have this two ohm four ohm and this six ohm resistors are connected but we don't have any current source that means we don't have any known currents therefore i will assume all the currents are unknown and they are outgoing from this node let's say the current that is flowing through this two ohm is i1 the current that is flowing through this four ohm is i2 the current that is flowing through the 6 ohm is our current I3 now if I apply KCL at node 1 summation of incoming currents will be equal to summation of outgoing currents here outgoing currents are I1, I2 and I3 therefore I will add them up I1 plus I2 plus i3 there is no incoming current so in the right side i will get a zero now what will be this the value of this v1 see if i have a resistor like this if this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential our current will flow from higher potential towards this lower potential and i will calculate the current i by using this formula voltage difference divided by the value of resistor simple ohms law to calculate voltage difference i will subtract lower voltage from higher voltage therefore i will get vh minus vl divided by the value of the resistor now see i1 is flowing from this terminal towards this terminal this terminal has a voltage of 8 volt therefore our i1 will be equal to v1 minus 8 divided by this 2 ohm resistor v1 minus 8 divided by 2 plus see i2 is the current that is flowing from this terminal towards this reference node see this node has a voltage of v1 and this node has a voltage of 0 therefore i can write v1 minus v0 divided by 4 as v0 equal to 0 i will not write it down so i will write v1 divided by 4 after that from this node to this node i3 is flowing uh, through this 6 ohm resistor therefore i will assume this node will be at higher potential and this node will be at lower potential so i3 will be v1 minus v2 divided by 6 ohm v1 minus v2 divided by 6 ohm will be equal to 0 if i perform my record calculation i will get 0. 916 v1 minus 0.167 v2 equal to 4 and this will indicate our equation number 1 after that i will apply kcl at node number 2 while i will apply kcl at node number two you have to forget what i have done in node number one or other nodes see here we don't have any current source that means we don't have any known currents that means all the currents will be unknown and all the currents will be leaving or outgoing from this node let's say the current that will be flowing from the through the six ohm is i4 
the current that will be flowing through this 3 ohm will be our I5 and the current that will be flowing through this 10 ohm will be current I6. Now before applying KVL I want to talk about this thing. See here the voltage source is in downward direction that means the negative side is in upward direction and the positive side at downward direction. Now what will be the voltage at this terminal? See if the positive terminal was in upside and the negative terminal was in downside I will get a voltage of 1 volt but here this voltage source is turned over therefore I will get a voltage from this terminal to this terminal equal to minus 1 volt if you for clarity I have set the circuit in multi sim simulator and see this between this terminal to this ground terminal you see I will get a voltage of minus 1 volt and for simplification I have also shown that our V2 will be equal to 1.101 and our V1 will be 4.564 volt so this node has a volt so this terminal has a voltage of minus 1 volt remember it so this terminal has a voltage of minus 1 volt so now I will apply KCL at node 2 as all the currents are outgoing therefore I4 plus I5 plus I6 will be equal to 0 because there is no incoming current so how do we calculate I4 see I4 is flowing from this terminal or this node towards this node that means this node voltage is higher than this node so I will take V2 minus V1 divided by 6 ohm V2 minus V1 divided by 6 ohm plus what will be the value of this I5 I5 is the current that is flowing from this node towards this ground node so this terminal will be at higher potential this terminal will be at lower potential V2 minus 0 higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by the value of resistor 3 that I6 is flowing from this node towards this terminal you will see this terminal will have a voltage of minus 1 volt so I will write V2 minus minus 1 volt divided by the value of resistor equal to 10 ohm will be equal to 0 now this minus term uh, this minus sign will get multiplied with this minus sign which will give us a value of plus 1 so here I will get V2 plus 1 divided by 10 now if I simplify this equation I will get minus 0 0.16 7 V1 plus 0 0.6 V2 equal to minus 0 0.1 this will be our equation number 2 if I solve equation 1 and equation 2 I will get V1 equal to 4.5 6 volt and V2 equal to 1.10 volt see V2 is the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor therefore I can write V across 3 ohm resistor will be equal to our voltage V2 which will be equal to 1.1 volt ok I want to talk about one last thing in some book you will see when a voltage source is in series with a resistor they convert this voltage source with series resistor into a current source and a parallel resistor but I have to say you don't need to do that see I have not converted the voltage source into a current source rather I have keep the circuit intact and performed my required calculation and this gives the same result as our original result see V2 equal to 1.101 and V1 equal to 4.564 volt okay that's it thank you